Now, wait a minute. Does it go like this? With beauty so near, words fail me, I fear. And this is one time I wish I could talk in rhyme. An artist in love would need, it is true, heaven above if he would paint you. I love and the earth to me seems so heavenly when I dwell in the spell of your glance. Kenny Baker granting a request from Mary's mother. Say, Kenny, I told Phil what I thought about his work in the minstrel show last Sunday, and that goes for you, too. Your blackface dialect was really great. Thanks, Jack. I didn't like it. <laughs> Why, Philbert. <laughs> and now, folks, as we announced last Sunday... Tonight, we are going to offer our version of that current 20th Century Fox picture, Girls' Dormitory. I will play the part of the hair director of the school, which was enacted by Herbert Marshall. Simone Simone's role will be played by Mary Mary. <laughs> Pronounced Mary Mary. And Don Wilson will play the part of the dormitory. Now, as you folks all know, Girls' Dormitory is a story about a school for girls only. But inasmuch as we are a little short of actresses on this program, the girls will have to be played by the male members of our cast. Is that okay with you fellas? I mean, will you play the parts of girls? Sure. Sure. I will too, but I feel silly. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, I think uh, we need two or three more people. Uh, say, Phil, would any of your boys in the orchestra be willing to help out? Why, certainly, Jack. You can have my arranger. You remember Ben Blue. Oh, yes. You introduced me to him a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. Say, Ben. Oh, uh, Mr. Blue, uh, would you like to help us out in our little play this evening? Well, it's a little bit out of my line, Mr. Benny, but if everybody else is willing, I guess I can do it, too. <laughs> And now, you know, uh, this is a schoolroom scene. Uh, you've, uh, you've been to school, haven't you? Yes, but I never liked school very much, so I quit when I was about 35. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
maybe he doesn't have to change character. I don't know. <laughs> but you'll like it in this school. Of course, you'll have to be a girl, but you don't have to change your voice, you know. Well, I don't mind as long as I don't have to change my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Now, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> who else do we need? Here? Come in. Uh, hello. Hello. Am I talking to Jig Banny? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Uh, what can I do for you? Here's my car. Take a look and don't bend it. <laughs> Your car. Um, let's see. Pat. Pat C. Flick. Uh, what's the C for? Salesman. I see. And the uh, last name is Flick. Yes, sir. Pronounce Goldberg, Goldberg. Exactly. <laughs> now, Mr. Benny, I understand you're putting on tonight a show entitled Girls' Dormatory. Yes, sir, but what's that got to do with you? I sell doormats. <laughs> now, look here, uh, Mr. Flick, I don't need any doormats. What I need are actors. Can you act? Can I act, he's asking. I've been a Hector since Hector was a pop. <laughs> Well, look, I'll give you, I'll give you five dollars if you go into our show. What do you say? Make it seven fifty. No, 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 five dollars. Seven fifty. Take it or leave it, and don't leave it. <laughs> now listen, I'll give you five dollars, and that's final. Do you want it or not? Well, give me time to think it over. I'll take it. <laughs> Now, remember, this is girls' dormitory, so I'll call you Patricia. Call her. I'll be glad to meet her. <laughs> well, I guess we're all set then, fellas, and we'll go into our sketch immediately after the next number. Play, Phil. Five dollars. Vada chislet. <laughs> <laughs> 